Okay, here is a mid-March toilet report. So I've got four basil plants growing in the crackly method. I think they started from cuttings from plants outside, maybe in late September. But anyway, these have gone the whole winter and they're getting a bit straggly, but still giving good crops. These beauties is Thai basil, which I planted in just normal kind of potting soil in these little plastic pots, maybe in October. And I don't know why I did that. I didn't really have a plan because I couldn't really convert them to cracky after they'd been in here. But they've just kept on trucking the whole winter. I've got them in these little glass dishes and I've been feeding them or watering them with hydroponic fluid, the same stuff as in these jars. And I pour it in the bottom here a couple of times a week. And they've just gone absolutely mad. They're always about this size because I crop them from the top. And about once a week or so they go mad and produce seed heads which I cut off and they just they're showing no signs of stopping they're super healthy even way down the bottom they're producing really really good healthy leaves and shoots absolutely crazy and over here are two other basil plants in cracky jars um, they're doing okay, not much to say really, they're doing fine. These are basil plants. I took cuttings from these plants, rooted them in water, and then when they develop roots, put them in this soil here. They're kind of trucking along. They've probably been in this soil for almost a month and um, actually the one at the back it's growing about an inch a day now getting close to the lights so I'm not sure what I'll do with them I might even put them outside these monsters is a kind of basil I can't remember what it was because I've got lots of different seeds and obviously something has deformed the leaves not on all the seeds but some of them have got these deformed leaves. I'm, I'm just letting them go. I don't know what's going to happen here. And over here, are my little heating mat that's meant for reptiles, I think, connected to a, a thermostat here. Nifty idea here. Make a little hole in the top of your cover and stick the thermometer in. And this is my third attempt the papalo. I tried using my own papalo seeds that I harvested last year. Nothing, nothing happened. These are some I bought and as you can see they're starting to develop roots. With papalo I found it doesn't really make much difference if you plant them on the surface or a little bit underground under the soil. It doesn't make any difference as long as they're good seeds. My seeds are bad. My papalo, the seed heads never opened i don't know whether you call them seed heads buds so i had to cut them and extract the seeds but maybe they needed the sun to make them become proper seeds that would be fertile but mine are no good so these are some that i bought and there's a bit of space here to get some more seeds started i don't know what i'm going to start but i'll start some today all right my demon bird will be back soon so I'm covering this up. I keep this covered because he loves to stand on my shoulder, which is here, while I'm having a pee. And he's looking directly here. And if this net wasn't here, he'd be straight in. Over here, he, he seems to ignore this area, but here, if I don't keep it covered, he'll be straight in there. And I've got my fan here to circulate the air. It's on the timer, 12 hours a day. And these lights, and these lights also on a timer. 
And this one is an extra light I put in. Because the basil's so tall, there's not much light getting down the bottom. So I put this light in here. Um, these are a few years old now, and originally, originally they had fluorescent lights, but now they've got LEDs. But this is the way to go. These are super cheap. This is all in one LED and a housing, which is the way to go. I get them on Amazon and USA. You get five lights for a super cheap price. Okay, that's the end of the tour of the toilet as it is now.